So today I'm talking about a P0349 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0349 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor, a circuit intermittent bank two. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called a camshaft position sensor that's just monitoring the camshaft as it spins. And it's reporting this information back to the computer and the computer uses that information for timing information. But when you get this P0349 code, the computer's seeing a problem with this camshaft position sensor, mainly sensor A on bank two side of the engine. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. But when you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's gonna have two banks. Bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And the opposite of that is bank two. So if you Google your engine at like cylinder location and you locate the number one cylinder on that engine, since there is differences, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one and the opposite of that is going to be bank two. Also, there could be a single cam on each bank of the engine and there can also be dual cams on each bank of the engine. And when an engine has dual overhead cams, there's going to be two camshaft position sensors on each bank of the engine to monitor each cam. And sensor A camshaft position sensor is going to be on the intake. So basically, when you get this P0349 code, locate bank two side of the engine, and the camshaft position sensor on the intake side is going to be sensor A. You know, one thing to mention about these camshaft position sensors is that if they are swapped out, if they are replaced, some vehicles, they need what's called a relearn procedure. This can really vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, different things like this for what's going on. Sometimes you can swap out that sensor and there's no problems. The engine will start up and run fine. And then other times you swap out that sensor and the engine won't start up. Or if it does start up, it runs very badly. There's some different ways to go about doing a relearn. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, some of those have the option in there to command the computer to relearn. These can be the more expensive scan tools. Sometimes there's a series of driving steps that you could do and the computer automatically relearn. And again, this could be different depending on the vehicle, but just keep in mind that if that camshaft position sensor is swapped out, some vehicles computers do need what's called a relearn. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0349 code? Well, the most common things that's gonna cause this is either that bank two sensor A camshaft position sensor has gone bad and needs to be replaced or the wiring going to it. And so there's gonna be some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. You can't go and test the sensor and see if that's good. And then if that's good, go and check the wiring. If you do go to check the wiring, it's always a good idea to get a wiring schematic for that particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. There can be two wire sensors. There could be three wire sensors. There can even be four wire sensors. These three wire sensors are fairly common. And basically what's going on with these sensors is that when the key goes into the on position, you're going to have voltage going to them, usually five volts. You're also going to have a ground wire. And then every single time one of those tone rings that's on the camshaft is directly in front of that sensor, it's going to send a signal back to the computer. And the computer is going to be able to track this and know the timing of the engine. So if you have a multimeter, you can go and check and be sure you're getting voltage through that circuit. And that also you have a good ground wire. If you have schematics, you could also go and check that signal wire going back to the computer and be sure that's good. One method some people use to test these sensors and the circuit is to use a multimeter. You remove the sensor, you put the key in the on position, and you back probe into the wires. And usually you should get roughly 5 volts. You put a metal bar directly in front of the sensor, and the voltage should drop. If that happens, then that means that sensor is good. Of course, if you're not getting voltage through that circuit, then that means you're having a wiring problem. There's some good videos on how to go about testing these sensors and the wiring. I made videos on that. I'll put a link down below in the description box if you want to check that out. Also, it's going to be a good idea to go and check for any blown fuses. Sometimes it can be kind of confusing on which fuse it is and what's going on. So very likely you will have to do a little research on your particular vehicle to know which fuse it's on and what's going on. Yeah, but it's a good idea to go and check for any blown fuses. Of course, if that fuse blows, you won't be getting no power to that circuit. But the main thing that's going to cause a P0349 code is going to be either a bad camshaft position sensor or the wiring going to it. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0349 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.